gals and guys, me Skello Devil here, and welcome to the Season 2 premiere of Cursage Gaming. For this premiere, I will be reading a popular gaming creepypasta titled The Legend of Zelda Modern Warfare. Without any further delay, let's dive into The Legend of Zelda Modern Warfare. So the story begins with our unnamed protagonist that I'll refer to as Player, telling the reader how big of a fan of Zelda he or she is. The player played every single Zelda game ever made from the original The Legend of Zelda on the Nintendo Entertainment System to whatever the fuck the last Zelda game released before the Breath of the Wild. Uh, the player even had a blast playing both N64 games, despite the fact that the player describes them as putrid dog water, doggy doo doo, fucking duty ass diarrhea bullshit. So once the announcement of the Breath of the Wild was announced, the player absolutely creamed to his or her pants. Now the bad thing was, was that the player didn't own a Nintendo Switch and didn't even plan on buying one in the first place because he or she viewed it as gimmicky and was meant for soy boy cucks. Uh, the player then reminisces when he or she was beaten brutally on the day he or she bought the Wii U. Later that day at school, the player's bully who goes by the name Chad brought his or her Switch to school, and the game he or she had was, in fact, The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. The player knew the reason why Chad brought his or her Switch was just to show off to the hot girl of the school, Stacy. The player accused Chad of this, which resulted in Chad getting upset because he just wanted some free time to play some Zelda. Also at the fact that the player absolutely reeked and should take a shower. The player got angry at the fact that Chad was playing it on the Switch. Uh, Chad reluctantly told the player that it's also on the Wii U. The player finds that particular statement odd and turns to Stacy, who just died from a cocaine overdose. Uh, Chad screamed as he attempted to res her. The player then ran home crying because Stacy liked hanging out with jerks like Chad instead of nice guys like the player. The player then remembers Chad's statement about the game being on the Wii U and redirects his or her course to GameStop. Looking back on it now, the player really wishes he or she hadn't. The player rushes into GameStop and finds a game with the generic used GameStop cover with the words T-Laws Haunted Copy being written in permanent black expo marker. The GameStop employee then screams at the player with Hello and welcome to GameStop. Would you like to join our Power Up Rewards program? The player said no and asks why exactly this game was titled as Haunted. The employee, whose name was Greg, said in a calm voice, Oh yeah, that means the game's haunted as fuck. I think you're gonna die if you buy it to be honest. Would you like to pre-order Assassin's Creed 96 Revenge of the 42nd Games Villain? The player said no, annoyed that Greg would bring up such a garbage cash grab video game as Assassin's Creed. Real gamers would never be caught dead playing that game, according to the player. Greg then concludes the conversation by asking, Alright then, just this for today. If you join the Power Ups Reward Program, you get a digital subscription to Gaming Forward Magazine, you know, while pushing a jar with the label Tip Z toward the player. The player said yeah and gave Greg a $3 tip which caused him or her to moan in ecstasy. Beware of the curse 3. Is what Greg moan yelled at the player while he or she was leaving. While running home, the player was sort of frightened by the cryptic message Greg told him or her. Once he or she came home, he or she popped the game into his or her Wii U and booted his or her Wii U up as his or her game started up. Strangely enough though, the player was instantly booted into the game no title screen or logos or anything. The player's character woke up in the Shrine of Resurrection. The only audio being audible, not sponsored by the way, was Zelda's voice. The player lowered down the volume due to not wanting to hear a woman talk. Uh, but the thing that was most disturbing was the fact that the opening cinematic, a text box belonging to four question marks, popped up with the words Beware of the curse 3. This was so scary that the player started crying. The player wondered why Shigeru would put such dark and terrifying elements in the Zelda game. However, the player was determined to finish this game 
so he or she would have something to say at Stacy's funeral. A few things were odd about this game. Apparently, the game had already been 100% completed, despite the fact that none of the shrines were even started. But the strangest thing was, was that there were no enemies present, besides an old man, when approached only said these words. Uh, uh, you stanky boy! The player's heart exploded into 308.87104 pieces upon seeing this. The player describes it as feeling an infernal dread. He or she was sure that this Zelda game was going to be the death of him or her. The player's whole life before he or she pressed the power button on his or her gamepad was different. He or she was normal. He or she was happy. Breath of the Wild. Hear its cry. Recollecting his or herself, he or she suddenly got the urge to get rid of all instruments that reminded the player of recorders as a safe, as a safe precaution. Continuing the game, the player encountered a lionel frozen in place near the Great Plateau Tower. The player thought this was Shigeru telling the player how the classmates that always said the player smelled bad were right. But how could Shigeru know this? Alright, I'm just going to call him Miyamoto because calling him Shigeru was just weird. Before the player could even receive an answer, the Lionel suddenly became hostile and tried attacking the player. Panicked by this, the player tried attacking back but to no avail since he or she had no weapons. Or so he or she thought. The player pulled up his or her inventory to find a royal broadsword. The player engaged in mortal combat with the Lionel and killed it in one hit. The player was shocked that Nintendo would push out such a broken, unpolished game. To the shock of the player, two more Lionels spawned, ambushing the player like how the Salamanca cousins did to Hank in the seventh episode of the third season of Breaking Bad titled, One Minute. Just like in the show, the player took out the cousins fairly quickly in one hit. Upon killing the cousins, the player suddenly remembered how to count. Upon remembering how to count, a startling realization set in. He or she just killed three Salamancas. Three, as in, the cursed three. After realizing this realization, the worst thing ever happened to the player. A voice came out of the TV. That voice said, UAV online. Suddenly, the player was transported to Hyrule Castle and was suddenly in first person. There was a mini-map in the corner, and the player's character held an M4 A1 assault rifle in his or her hands. The screaming from children, dogs barking, and vacuums over the worst microphones ever could be heard. The player then realized that he or she was no longer playing The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. He or she was playing The Legend of Zelda Modern Warfare. Upon realizing the startling realization that caused the player to realize the realization that was realized, the player instantly went to crybaby mode. Throwing up and crying everywhere, the player hated the Call of Duty franchise and was about to commit Nacho Varga spoiler alert when suddenly the Wii U crashed. Dumbfounded by this scenario, and too dumb to realize that the player found their pills had been spilt all over the floor. Jesus fucking Christ. Suddenly, a bluish thingy thinged out of the Wii U disc tray, and suddenly took the form of none other than... Shigeru Miyamoto. Absolutely schmeckledorf by this, the player noted it to his or her boxers. Mr. Miyamoto started speaking in Japanese, which confused the player since he or she didn't know any Japanese despite watching anime with no subs and no dubs. That's the story of my life right there, no subs, no dubs. Luckily for the player though, an unseen English translator popped up and translated whatever Miyamoto said. It was just like one of those amazing Nintendo Directs, according to the player. But what was unamazing though was what Miyamoto said. Mr. Miyamoto told the player that he or she stank and should go take a shower. Before the player could do anything, the ghost of Shigeru Miyamoto possessed the player. What happened next was a blur according to the player. Visions of taking a shower and playing multiple Call of Duty games, one of which was Call of Duty Ghosts 4, the Xbox 360, PS3, Xbox One, PS4, PS5, Xbox Series X, and PC. 
and Zerbier's laptop. After being unpossessed, the player decided to commit Walter White spoiler alert due to no longer smelling smelly. The player decided to stab his or herself with whatever blood whistle-like weapon in his or her trachea. The player concludes the story with this message. Anyways, always fear. Don't buy Breath of the Wild for the Wii U, for it could be the dreaded Legend of Zelda Modern Warfare. Uh, there is also an epilogue here left by Chad saying, Dude, two of my classmates fucking died. How do you think I feel? Well, 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 so that was our very first Zelda creepypasta, and I gotta say, this was a phenomenal game creepypasta to start things off. The protagonist was obviously the star of the show here. The way the writer wrote the protagonist made you really care for the player. The emotions the player conveyed really resonated with me and made me cry in fear of waiting to see what horrors lie beyond. Uh, another thing I liked was the build-up. The way the author started from the player liking every Zelda game to the player wanting to commit Blood Whistle protagonist spoiler alert was done to perfection. Speaking of Blood Whistle, the way the author roped that story into this one, confirming this to be a part of the Blood Whistle cinematic universe, gave me more hype than Tobey Maguire and Andrew Garfield being in no way home. This writer should really start working with Vince Gilligan and Peter Gould. Slip and Jimmy Season 2 could really use you. Okay, I'm gonna break character here and say I did not do the story any justice at all. This story is one of the craziest things I've ever read, and is actually a must read. It is fucking insane what this person wrote. Alright, back to being character. This story is obviously a, say it with me, a 308.87104 out of 1172.8. It is definitely a must read. Links to the description down below. So this has been the season 2 premiere of Curses Gaming, and if you like what you saw, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Dislike it if you dislike it. This is me Skull Devil and I'm out.